flip-flop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. What's that? What's that? Where's the beef? <sighs> Being very critical. Uh, hey everyone, uh, welcome to Ad Nauseam. I'm Scott. And I'm Chad. Um, we've got a good group of, uh, of commercials this week. How's your week been, speaking it's of that? Been, it's been a, one of those weird weeks before a holiday week, you know, where it's yeah. like everyone's like, oh, I got to get stuff done. So it's been busy. It's been good. That's good. We're here at, uh, I, I call it Ad Nauseam Studios, but it's he, it's Hero Smith. Is that, that's like, right. That's what Hero else? Smith. Yeah. What, uh, give us a little background on Hero Smith, because this is Chad's place. Hey. Uh, uh, and, yeah. yeah. So Hero Smith uh, operates like a gym for your business. Minus the germs of a gym, <laughs> especially Hopefully. important right now, right? I mean, marketing's hard, but we don't sweat that much. Um, but yeah, you know, we have a, a unique uh, business model set up and designed for entrepreneurs and yeah. small businesses, where we uh, have everything you need uh, to create modern, high-quality media uh, with an affordable membership that also comes with the ability to collaborate directly with like marketing and design experts. It's almost like you've given products. this. Description before because I, I didn't tell you where I was going to do this. You know, you didn't you? You, just, yeah. you rattled this elevator pitch right off. This is that how I beautiful. roll, man. That's <laughs> kind of my thing. Uh, yeah, and we're here. Obviously, you can see there's a great recording studio for podcasts, and that's where, like I said, Ad Nauseum Studios. There you go. Inside place. the vault. That's yeah. right. Inside it is like yeah. Is it old? I keep forgetting. It's an old bank vault. It's an old bank vault. There's literally a safe door right behind <laughs> you is. guys out there. We might mm. be locked in. Yeah. Who knows? We, this may go on forever. It may be some sort of <laughs> existential podcast that yeah. never ends uh, <laughs> yeah well uh, getting back to the uh, commercials I, I feel like uh, I need to announce always that I am not an ad executive. I'm not a former commercial person, but Chad is. He, he is the yes, ad guy. Yes, I have produced a co few commercials in my day. I had a job doing that for a while when I was working for the New York Times and uh, and doing uh, doing some local commercials, which yeah. we have to get into more of those. We're going to, I mean, I'm telling you, we're going to have, a, you, we're gonna have like a whole episode or four just on local, episode, yeah. local commercials. I, I love local commercials. Me too. Me you too. either need a horse or your kids in them. Every <laughs> I, That was like right? growing up in Kansas, I just remember every car dealership had a horse, guy on a horse, or his kids were running the commercial nice. basically awesome yeah um, you I think can't we got turn my children off <laughs> oh yes i can <laughs> right. mr car used car dealer it's so <laughs> great i love it um so yeah we'll get to the local commercials this one this week we have like lg we start off with that like, some of these like you may see these commercials this one caught me off guard because i was just watching tv you know and right. i see this it's a it's a commercial about a washer and dryer how crazy could it be right but the song in this one just drove me insane oh yeah oh, we because can't wait to hear it. yeah uh just it's called baby i got your laundry and this is the lg wash tower all right here we go <laughs> oh yeah Laundry and half the space. It, yeah, it's not oh a long my. commercial. Yeah. Do you recognize true. that song though? I I don't. I'm like terrible with No, it's fine. Music. So it, the song is called Got Your Money. It's by Old Dirty Bastard of the oh, Wu Tang. Oh, yes. Okay. It's so right. fucking funny to me that right. LG decided to manipulate this LGB. song for washer and dryers. Right. right. And it's because <laughs> the song is basically about a pimp <laughs> screaming about. This woman who hasn't given him his money yet, his, his uh, assumingly his hoe. Right. And it's just the first time I heard this, I was like, I, I, I understand you, people are all about brand recognition, right? Sure. Do you necessarily yeah. want your brand recognized? I, I love it. I mean, because I love I'm a me person. Some DB and some Wu Tang, but, but you're LG. You're, yeah, you're, yeah, your exactly. whole name is Life's I, Good. Right, right. And you're going ODB. <laughs> you're going Dirt McGirt on Dirt this. Dirt McGirt in the house. Oh I my love God. It. And so That's hilarious. I had to pull this up. I'm not trying to be unprofessional here, but I pulled up the lyrics. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm going to read some of them. LG, by the way, endorses all of these lyrics. Absolutely. I, I heard. That's I, what I, I know. I, 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 <laughs> ad <laughs> specialist. He knows these things. <laughs> it's so funny because, like I said, it's basically about a pimp talking to a hoe or just screaming. They're like, Basically, he says, it's actually, I'm trying. I'm going to try and read these lyrics without doing the song because I know the fucking song. It's, it's right. a great song. All right. No, well, you're not going to bust rhymes. You're not going to give it up. I don't all. think so. I'm going to read all it right. my white guy voice. All right. Which is, <laughs> which is exactly <laughs> how ODB intended it to be read. But he basically says, uh, you give me your number, I call you up. You act like your pussy, don't interrupt. <laughs> No, they're not. They're only singing like the chorus and they're manipulating. Chorus, but yes. still, even before the chorus, it's just so funny because it says, uh, "Don't be <laughs> dirty. Won't be having it in his house because bitch, I'll cripple your style." Now that you heard my calm voice, you couldn't get another. 
Coochie Won't Get Moist, right? <laughs> it's just like, this is the song yes. that you're talking about washer and Listen, dryers with. You know, LG, it must be known for their bravery. I they're mean. Just, they're like going out there. Like, do you hey, think hey, anyone hey. knew this song when it was pitched? Because like it's, it's catchy as shit. Absolutely not. This song is catchy. Oh, the ad team that's like, let's see if we can get them to do this song. Or we'll put this song in here because it's perfect, <laughs> but then they're going to make us change it. And then they're like, oh, my God, they didn't make us change the song. What do we do? Right. I guess we go with it. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. If you stop, I'm going to put the killer ants in your pants. I'm the ODB, as you can see. Every eye, don't you be watching me. I don't want no problems because I put you down in the ground <laughs> where you can't be found. This is a great song, and this it's just so awesome. wild that it's LG it washer me, dryer. I don't know, man. It makes me think of laundry. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, <laughs> he is an old, dirty bastard. Old, dirty. It's true. So, That's I right mean, in there. It kind of makes sense. Maybe they just you know, heard that there. tune. Didn't hear the rest of the song and say, oh, he's old, dirty bastard, and we're talking about washer and dryer. Yeah, maybe <laughs> hey, that's us, all they needed. They're like, <laughs> You so, tell me this gentleman, ODB, is a dirty guy. Right. Huh? right I don't know okay. how. So, okay, when you basically, they, because they have to purchase the rights to this song, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Just to even do oh, a, yeah. a cover. Oh, he's uh, making mad money. ODB well, he's is dead. Very happy. But he's, oh, his well, estate's making money. money. Yeah, so yeah. They, they approach them, right? Right. Do you think anyone, whoever is handling the ODB account, mm -hmm. they had to be like, LG, like life's <laughs> like like my cell phone from right, back right, the, right, in the two thousands, right. like washer and dryer and electron. You want I, this I'm song? I'm not mishearing you, correct? Right now, I would obviously they're gonna be like, yeah, t here's the price to pay us, but like they right. had to be like scratching their fucking heads, like how are they going to use this shit? Nice, God, I miss ODB. Well, I guess it makes more sense because I was like, wow, like these people are really into doing laundry, and <laughs> right. I've never I've never yeah. danced while doing laundry. I, I I hate I hate folding. Yeah, I hate folding the laundry. Yeah. I can throw it in there and forget it, but like I sure. hate folding laundry. Oh, I know. My laundry stays in like my dryer for like half to like <laughs> right. Wednesday morning. I'm finally <laughs> like, all right, maybe I should I should take it out and fold it up. I don't even have ner I have no nerve endings too because I I live in an apartment, so I share obviously the uh, wash and dryer all units right. with other people, and I still leave it in there forever. Oh man, <laughs> like I'm just waiting oh, for people that, to you're steal my get a shit. Note? Oh, yeah, totally. yeah, totally. I just forget. Your shit's gonna be on the floor when you go there someday. <laughs> it really <laughs> will. Uh, all right, what is our next commercial? All right, next one up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The uh, is this? It's called Island. I think it's. It's uh, all sure It's Allstate. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. This is called Islands by Allstate. <clears throat> it's a good song. It's soothing. Yes. <laughs> soothing songs of this Allstate. Is, this is like metal for NPR. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> Don't smell it. You can smell it from there. Yeah, dude. The smell is not what you're going for there. Get out of your car. Right. <laughs> Fuck. This commercial is kind of a long one, but I thought it was going to be a coffee commercial. The right? First time I it kind of has that know? coffee feel. Yeah. Or tea. Tea, I guess. You save fifty percent when you pay per mile with Allstate. So the reason I picked this commercial is because, like, who the fuck lives in that world? I know. No one I'm lives jealous. in that world. I want to live this guy's life. And he's on an island there? in, like, this Norman Rockwellian looking. Right. You said, it, like, he, he looks very much like he's like about to do a coffee commercial. Sure, he's in a yeah. sweater. He's a good looking yes, dude. Totally. He's like a rugged Maine uh, individualist kind of guy. Yeah. You know? And he's also, he's buying local, buying organic, right, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But the thing is, like, first of all, the girl who was selling him fish was way too young and way too cute. No one ever that looks like that has, <laughs> has ever, ever sold, sold fish, fish in their ever, fucking yeah. lives. They don't Barely know anyone's are. ever even caught a fish. No, like that. no, yeah. no way. And then the guy, uh, the baker, who walks out to his car and hands yeah. him, he's like, it's fresh. I'm like, fucking dude, get out of your car. The guy has enough Have business. Respect. Yeah, there's a lot of people there. Like, get, fucking help right. him. This is way before coronavirus, yeah, yeah. all right? All right. <laughs> well, I think it is. I don't know. But it's just like, it's so picturesque and it's so perfect and I fucking hate it. I want to know if this is a real <laughs> island or is this like a digitally produced, you know? I want to believe thing? it's digital because I don't yeah, want to know that a perfect place <laughs> like that is. Cause, like, I know. It's like, how real? I mean, the COVID doesn't even exist there, right? Yeah. You, like, oh, no. Uh, no. Yeah. You have to go through like an application process. 
was to right. even get yeah. on that island. It's easier than migrating to Canada. Yeah, yeah. cuz <laughs> you you saw no old people. Yes. The true. the guy the main guy was probably the oldest dude and he looked like 35 years old. Right. Yeah. Kind of had like that the perfect hair, the perfect beard. He's a like, cute dog. Also, kind they of probably fucking... eat the old people when they get too old. At yeah. some point they're just like <laughs> That's right. All right, sorry. We you're, you're a weak link. Push you're him off into yeah, the water. Yeah, yeah. Let them scrounge for themselves. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's insane because like yeah, I get what they're trying to portray. They're like, "Oh, look, he put on some he's trying to boil some water for some tea." And he's gonna go do his errands. Yeah. Leave his dog. Why you let, take your dog with you? Your dog yeah. loves car rides. Right. Dog didn't even budge because his fucking owner hates him. Apparently. They should redo the commercial from the dog's perspective. Yeah, I'd be like, where's this piece of shit yeah. going? He turns on tea on the stove and then <laughs> leaves me in the house to burn down. Well, yeah, like I, 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 I well, yeah, it's an insurance errands. commercial. He could get a fucking, he could get in a crash. You know, yeah. he could, right. he could, and then his whole house goes up right. and his dog fucking dies. Yeah. This guy's an irresponsible guy, fucking dog owner. Irresponsible aging hipster. Oh Sounds god, cool. he is such an aging <laughs> hipster. It's, it's, it's insane because. I feel like he spends, I don't know, 90% of his income on Eddie Bauer shit to wear, right. ironically. And that hair that's oh, perfectly God. clothed back. I'm Fuck so him. jealous. I was going to say, you know, you're I, talking yeah, to a bald guy over totally here. Totally yeah. jealous. You can't, don't, don't do that to me with that. Don't hair. hurt we you like that. We need more bald guys in commercials. So, yeah, it's just, I, I feel like the first time I watched this, I was like, this place doesn't exist. This isn't the real world. Right, right. Give me more Dennis Haysbert. Interesting <laughs> fact about him. Who? He is the, the most, the, the Allstate guy. That's right. his name right now. Yeah, Dennis, Dennis Haysbert. And, and he has, they've done studies on this. His voice is the most trusted mm. voice. And I remember I when I that study came that. out, they looked at all the commercials and right. and did like uh, customer surveys or whatever. And number one trusted voice in America. I'm li- I get and it. And literally, can you, can you imagine his agent <laughs> right as soon as that study came out he's like doing cartwheels don't down, even do like, another don't even drive. do another movie or yeah, another tv like, show ever yeah you might like, have been the president in 24 but you're now just a yeah. commercial voice so you're, totally. you're he's basically like probably another morgan freeman yeah. with that voice yeah it's absolutely. like a more manly morgan freeman voice. it is like a deeper and richer is that, it kind of sounds a little bit like you got like a metal Voice. Yeah, Dennis I got the metal voice. Yeah, you got the yeah, metal, yeah. like which is kind of bad. That's from uh, when I used to sing in uh, punk bands growing up. <laughs> there like, you go. I had a lot of screaming. Kind Ooh, of did you really sing in punk bands? Yeah. What sure were some did, of your yeah. punk band names? Oh man, this is oh, the best part about good, knowing oh, band yeah, names. Exactly. Yeah, we had some awesome names. Um, let's see. There was Little Death. Lo- oh, yes, right, yeah, right name. Yeah. <laughs> which is actually like a like a French. Uh, there's like a the French kind of invented the term. There's like there was used to be this mythological moment when a woman would have an orgasm that she'd die. For a moment. Oh, okay. And so they, they believe that's so true. It wasn't actually true. Obviously. Well, I mean, but like you're because no, well, at least no woman I've ever been with has died. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, nope. my poor wife. Anyway, <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, um, that's a great name. And then um, your ba- I, band name was basically French orgasm. <laughs> exactly, really? Right? Like, yeah, yeah. Mythical. And then we then we changed it to uh, die of awe, all one word. Yeah, very di- very deathy. Die of awe. I like this. Yeah, I know. It's funny cuz we weren't really like super metal. We were kind of on the punk side of things, but uh all about but death. yeah, you know, um <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Death is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which was like a band full of midgets. <laughs> right, Little tiny death. death. Yeah, yeah, man. All right, uh, what's all right, our next so one? I can't next remember. One. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, this is the eHarmony commercial. Oh, God. This is just a personal preference, so like it's called pineapple pizza and so All right, all right. Let's check Check it out then. Real love is trying new things, sharing your likes and dislikes. Oh God, this is made after COVID. And oh yeah. Admitting when you are wrong. This is such BS. It's total poor shit. So basically, it's an eHarmony commercial for those of you who aren't watching, where it's uh, two pu- couples having like a Zoom date, right? Mm-hmm. First date, I'm guessing. And uh, the guy, they're having dinner together right. and they're eating a pineapple pizza, which mm-hmm. fucking enrages me. Now, I have so few points in this world to make that actually matter. But like one of my biggest pet peeves is pineapple on pizza. Chad, I don't like hot fruit. I don't even like no pie fruit. that much. No fruit should be hot. No fruit should be hot. Period. Are you not a pineapple on pizza guy? I mean, I don't mind the combination combination of ham and pineapple my when i grew See, up my mom used to make ham and she would put pineapple mine, in it. mine as well and i think that's where it came from because i didn't right. get it yeah and yeah, i wouldn't yeah. eat it at right, all right and so yeah i like that but i do never i would never i love veggies on my pizza but oh my god no yeah. fruit, no fruit thank you now the one true thing about this is pineapple on pizza is a total chick thing i mean there's yes. guys who like yeah. it but right. ladies love it and so basically this cold commercial is like she's going to prove to him that he right. likes it right mm-hmm. and here's the one thing i can't believe is at the end he was like oh it's pretty good yeah, yeah. fuck you dude <laughs> Uh, uh, no, it's not. It's oh, horseshit. Yeah, that, that was such horseshit because you know that this guy is just pretending 100%. that this is good. 
good to to make this. Eventually, date go lady better. get to like you know do some dry humping. Later. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't or know if zoom, people in their thirties dry hump anymore, but I would. Humping. I love dry humping. Maybe zoom humping. humping or something. Zoom yeah. humping. Just rub your shit against the camera. I guess so. Yeah. I need to clean the camera. God, I hate that. Yeah. But yeah, you know, like he is totally. I mean, and that's what you do when you're. One hundred percent what you do when you're in a relationship. Even if you don't like it, you just pretend. Of course, like like I'm sorry to inform you, ladies, but we will go along with pretty much anything, <laughs> especially early on. Yep. I mean, whatever you're into. So my advice to the ladies out there, stretch the limits. Yeah. You know, this Let's is see your how fucking weird he'll get. Le- yeah. And then maybe even just make up shit that you're not even into just to see if, how far he'll go. Oh, absolutely. Call him on that. Like, I, I, I don't know, like, like, like crochet a huge penis. Be like, do you like it? He'll be like, he'll be like oh, I this is awesome. This for you. Yeah, make it huge. Make it something he's never seen before. And he'll be like, this, this is amazing. You should definitely right. like sell these on Etsy. <laughs> And exactly. that's, that, that's how it goes in early relationships. Of course, yeah. Fucking Absolutely. pineapple and pizza. God, yeah. I hate it so much. Now, see, this is one of the benefits of being married, too. I don't have to do this. Yeah, anymore. you're past I mean, it. We figured out what we actually like and what we were just trying to I'm single to. as shit. I am that guy. I know. Although, you're a lot of pineapple the pizza. Ladies, might, they might be testing me with like the pineapple and pizza. I don't know if I could let that go. Yeah. I, I was like, you know what? It's been fun. Right. You only made it through one day. I hate you already. You have terrible taste, obviously in men, <laughs> and then obviously in food too. Yes, kind of a. I would never want to belong to a club that have anyone like me as a member. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. No Groucho yeah. Marks. I don't All right. Do we one. have one more? I think it's a producer's pick. Oh. Is that what this is? Yep. Oh, sweet. This I is where Chad takes the floor. Episode. Oh, I'm super excited about this. So, you guys have probably seen these commercials. How could you miss them? Because <laughs> it's basically a new product. It's exciting, a new, innovative product on the market that allows you to poop in a box and send it to a lab. What's in the box? Uh-huh. Yes. It's so let's shit. check it out. It's called Color Guard. You are clearly someone who takes care of yourself. So when it comes to screening for colon cancer, don't wait. Because when caught early, it's more treatable. I'm Color Guard. I'm not <laughs> Those thing talking doesn't even match up. Of of colon I know. Tell me more. It's for people 45 plus and average risk for colon cancer, not high risk. False positive and negative results may occur. Ask your prescriber if Colaguard is right for you. I'm on it. That's a step in the right direction. Colaguard. So give me a break here. I mean, first of all, this box has an unhealthy obsession with this guy's shit. Right. right? I mean, he's literally following up the stairs. He's walking on saying, the railings. Please poop in me. Yeah. I mean, let's face it, the box is into some weird shit, right? I it has mean, to no be. Pun intended. Well, here's the but. thing. Here's what I was wondering the first time I watched this was it, okay, so it's a mascot, right? It's mm-hmm. the color, and it's a box. Right. Is there shit in him? As we Already, speak. Yeah. I, I, like as he's talking, is that yeah, guy yeah. being like, "Yes, quit Dude, talking." I can smell the shit feet, literally coming out of your fucking insides. <laughs> I feel like there has to be. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Why would he be an empty box? If he's the mascot, one would think he's participated in the in the central uh, idea of the product, right? right? I mean, and and he on. literally is a walking, talking box of shit. <laughs> yes, that's amazing. I cannot believe that uh, that this is a thing that we advertise and we like try to make it good. <laughs> I mean, these commercials should literally be like, look. We figured out we can test your shit for for the DNA to tell if you got colon <laughs> cancer. We're gonna send you a box. End of commercial. Yeah. We don't need to pretend like this is normal. They're like at or, some very hip looking ad agency yes, type place yes. where like it's not thought about. Like no one poops there. Right. Everyone exactly. goes home to Everyone poop. Go. Everything's too white. It's too pristine. There's, there's yeah. Why am I doing that at work? Stairs. I know. Right? Like, the, the setting should be at home, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And well, then they I, have ones at home too. Those were some good ones as well. <laughs> and then I'd be like, why is there walking talk? They have one where people are like they're talking to the camera from inside their house, and the camera's outside, and they're talking outside the window. <laughs> right. Which I, don't get, I wouldn't like, want my neighbors to hear this. Who talks about their poop outside <laughs> their window? Is that a thing that I'm not aware of? By like, the way, if I poop... somehow in... make it more comfortable? Right. <laughs> I, if I poop, I'm getting it on the sides. It's not going to all end up in the fucking box, and right? And that's the other point. Thank you for reminding me. Why is this box shaped like a box? No one's ass is shaped like a box. No. This box should be shaped like a toilet. Yeah. Or at least a circle. Absolutely. It's I bad mean, marketing. On, yeah. And honestly, I should have a funnel, too. Like You should have a <laughs> funnel where oh, I can man. just poop into Oof. that, and it goes yes, into the box. Yes. Yeah, you don't want any... Storage. Where's the funnel? Yes. Fuck! 
Damn it. Yeah. Sorry. So that's it. Poop in a box. Poop in a you box. Knew we were color guard. There. Yeah. You knew we were going to go there. <laughs> that's how we end this show. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Normally it's like one that we kind of like or kind of annoys us, but this is just like literally we give you shit in a box. You're welcome, everybody, <laughs> for all eight of you who watch this <laughs> show. <laughs> um, all right. That's uh, that's a wrap for us. Uh, follow us on social media. Actually, even if you guys have some commercials that you want to see us kind of rant yeah, about or talk up. about, uh, email it to email them to us at uh, at fuck I don't even know. <laughs> but, I oh, it's at it it's at nauseampod at gmail dot com. Yeah, like just post a comment on uh, on social, you know. Too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Slide in our DMs. Yeah. Tag us. Oh yeah. What, this whatever. Guy's single over there. Whatever all the kids are doing. Yeah, these yeah. Days. Slide into his DMs. And uh, <laughs> give him your pineapple pizza. Fucking mm. you bastards. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's our episode for this week. We'll bye bye. S- we'll see you next time.